And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Fight Night Champion, and we're doing the career of Kevin Snow. Going into fight number four, trying to see if we can keep that streak going. Three wins, three knockouts. Going up against Sergey Tony. As we'll look at everything here, he's got a pretty good pound for pound rating right now. 22 wins, 9 decision wins. He's got 13 knockouts, 5 by TKO. Uh, only 6 losses, so he seems like he's a pretty tough one. Uh, Snow, again, got the height and reach advantage in this one. So, uh, expect Sergey to try and do everything he possibly can to try and get inside as we get ready for yet another fight. Still working on Snow's stats and everything like that. We're going to try and see after this fight about adding some power to the body shots so we, we can start uh, wearing guys down in the later fights as we're in the Royal London Theater. So Snow going overseas for this fight. You see Kevin Snow there. Three wins, three knockouts. Six foot three, 175 pounds. So not too bad as he's up against Sergey Tony. 5'10", 170, 22, 6, 1, and 13 knockouts to his credit, as I said before. The referee brings them together. Is, well, so far, leaving the snow white and light blue color palette. So we're going to try and see if we can maybe possibly change that up in the near future. Ooh, caught him with that right straight. So Sergey in trouble early. And down he goes. A flurry from the snowman. And Sergey kisses the canvas early. Referee counting here as he makes it up at a five count. So under a minute he went down. Good left hook there from Snow as he was able to step out of the way and get that one. Here's a good jab there right to the head. One, two there blocked by Sergey as he's trying to play a little defensive here. Snow bobbing in and out. Is Sergey trying to move in and make something happen, but it doesn't look like it's happening so far. There's Snow with a good shot there. Tried the right hook there. Sergey a bit slow there. Is that, there's that right straight again. Snow getting some good shots in. Tried the side step straight, did not work there. Sergey was just not in position there to get hit. Sergey still trying to move in, trying to bide his time here. And Snow, good first round there for him as Sergey played pretty casually, so he's got full stamina but he's got some damage as well snow down to 96 percent but his face is pretty clean as you can see left eye take a little damage here starting to swell up just a little bit and we're gonna go to round two six round fight here so sergey's got his work cut out for him if he wants to do something
no j jabbing away. There's a nice uppercut there from Snow. Nice hit by him. One, two there from Snow, and Snow's going to eat that one. Tried to sidestep it, but went into it. Nice little lunging uh, jab there from Tony. Sergey Tony trying to do his best to catch Snow, but he's not putting a lot out there right now. As there's a tie up, Snow breaks it off. There's a nice uppercut. That's what ended the last few guys. There's a left uppercut, the right misses. A couple uppercuts there. And jab connects on the opening. Another jab. Another uppercut there. About 30 seconds left in this round. And caught another left uppercut there. There's another right. These uppercuts are nasty. They're not as bad as the straight though. As that straight has done some damage. And that is the end of round two. Sergey Tony, a little damage here as that left eye's almost shut. Yes. He did a little more action that time, but just was not able to actually put forth a lot of scores there. As Snow did a little extra action as well. Still pretty. And it's looking to stay that way. Round three. Ooh, and Snow with that right uppercut. And Sergey Tony able to actually fend him off here. Snow trying to continue it, get a little more damage here. Maybe see if he can catch him again. But Tony's not letting him. There's. Oh. Tony with a good shot there. Avoided a couple from Snow. And Snow gets another jab in. Both men connecting. Just under two minutes to go in this round as Tony eats a right. Good block there from Snow. Defense is solid right now. There's a good jab on the counter. Snow steps back, trying to keep his distance. Couple uppercuts there. Yeah. Good right straight there from Snow. Both men connect on that one. There's a couple of shots from both men. Snow trying to make some moves here. Trying to, trying to move and open him up as there's a good right straight. And there's another jab there. And Tony taking some damage here. Snow didn't have the distance that time. There's a left uppercut. And that's the end of round three. Halfway through this bout now is Snow. Starting to burn through a little bit of his stamina. Down about 83%. Sergey Tony sitting at 90. He's got some damage on him, but nothing like what the last participant had. That left out a little bit of a problem, so if he catches any more straights, could be trouble. As we're moving on to round four, you can see Snow has got this pretty well in hand as there's a couple of uppercuts. Right in the left there from Snow. Doesn't really throw a lot of their hooks, but 
They connected. Tony trying to get in close. There's a right straight that just connects. Another straight there. Is that one got him just out of reach? And there's a right uppercut. Snow staying in close a little bit and then he's backing up. So he's trying to keep his distance while at the same time trying to fight and get inside. If Tony comes in, he's facing an inside counter puncher who has range as Snow gets a good one. There's a couple of uppercuts there as Tony took them. And Snow with a long jab. Couple uppercuts did not connect there. Tony's got some good defense right now. There's a jab. Tried to get another jab that time, didn't work. Snow with an uppercut that time. Couple punches there from Snow. Nothing really doing right now. There's a right. Both men connecting. And Tony's going to tie up. 30 seconds left in this round. And Tony eats one. And down he goes. Just too much damage coming in as Snow broke through the guard finally. I was able to get him with a right hook. Did an extra shot for good measure. And... We're going to see if he gets up this time. He looks like he will, and yes, gets up at a five count. And that's the end of round four. Sergey now looking through one eye as that left eye is finally swollen shut. Sergey's got the stamina, but he's not been using it. So two more rounds. Can Tony last? Doesn't look like he's going to be the winner in this one. Unless he gets a knockout. And there's a good right straight. Snow caught him. And there's a right uppercut to end it. Down he goes. That's number three. As that uppercut just went right between the gloves. And got him. He's on the canvas one more time. I don't know if he's getting up this time. He's wobbly. And he will not make it up. Collapsing back to the mat. That's it. The referee has called it. Sergey Tony cannot last the full six rounds. Knocked out in the fifth round by Kevin Snow. Yet another victim as Snow's reign continues. Kevin Snow put that man on ice easily. Just took him a little bit longer than a couple of the other fights. You can see the score, no, just, no doubt it would have been won by decision, but Snow did finally end it in the fifth round, just beating him down until it was all over. Best round looks like it was the fifth round, though it didn't last completely like it should have. 75% on the few punches that were thrown. Uh, best full round was this, was round four, 66% connection there, connected on eight jabs, nine straights, a hook on the left side, uh, four hooks on the right side, and then a number of uppercuts. Countered seven for eight on that one, so definitely the best round there. Overall was 59% connection rate for Snow as he landed the majority of the counter punches the only counter punches ever thrown by Sergey, a couple of them, both of them hit, but Snow threw 27 and landed all but one. You can definitely see the damage on on Sergey. Tony was a lot better on the head. Snow took some body damage, but he lasted, and that is going to be the end of that fight. One little goal on there was trying to make a cut on the guy, but it didn't really work out.
A couple of picks the coaches got here. We got Colin Walcutt. Let's see. And then this one, replacing an injured fighter against Colin Walcutt. So let's see here. So we'll do it this way. We'll see if we can actually get a full uh, regimen. And he's ranked 35, 3 2 and 0 oh, with three knockouts all in his last three victories. He's got to reach a 79, so a little more of a challenge with this guy as he's 6 1. So it's going to be pretty even on how we approach this. Uh, all right, we'll go back to Philadelphia with more of the training. And we'll see. If this one is going to be another another one here. Looks like this one's going to be a fight at the beginning of the year. So I don't get to do my Christmas theme yet. So let's see what we got. We do have four weeks of training. So we're going to go into it. We're going to go over the op open sparring. Then after we spar, we'll go into... Trying to see what we can do about our new outfit. Mm -hmm. All right, Bates will be the sparring partner for this this uh, little short round. Try and see if we can come up with some kind of. Good score here. Not really starting off too well. Got him with a good uppercut that time. Let's. So yeah, basically my boxing style is normally a, bo a brawler, though I've tried to kind of step away from it a little bit because it's gotten me in trouble a lot of times. I'm trying to see if we can get baits. Got 30 seconds here to make that 10,000. Oh, down we go. That didn't work. Ooh, caught him. Ah, get off, man. That's going to keep me from... Oh, yeah, just close, but didn't get it. That kept me from doing it, getting knocked down. That's all right. I wasn't watching my stamina. I get get uh, overexcited when doing that. And there's the fighter of the year, Nick Gomez. We've got a few guys here. Mike Tyson, upset of the year. So yes, I did put a bunch of them in there from this one. Let's go to our division as it's going to be Florin Zarate. Kevin Snow versus Sergey Tony was the um, fight of the year. Round of the year went to Snow versus Tony again. And then Roy Jones Jr. had knockout of the year. Conrad Ortiz had upset of the year. Lloyd Stewart with comeback of the year. Defensive fighter of the year. Florian Karate and Bubba Stevens. Going to be there. We're going to have a few guys that's going to retire. Let's see if we got any names in here we recognize. 
Let's see. Nobody that um, I recognize. So, ooh, hit the wrong button there, so we'll just advance. All right. All right. Try this one more time. See if I can do a little better this time. Me and my over eagerness when it comes to swinging punches against a sparring partner. So here we go again. This time Sanders is going to be. Let's see if we can do some damage to the Colonel's son. That's a Kentucky joke. I already got 10,000, so doing something right. Caught him with the uppercuts. Took that one. I nailed on that shot. Ooh, ate that one. And got him with that left hook. This one like a brawler because I can get him to wind up and miss like that. Ooh, caught him with that uppercut again. Oh, and he hugging me there. He don't want to. He don't want to take another nap. Apparently. Ooh, got him with that straight again. Down he goes. That's what I was banking on. I was hoping he would catch that straight again. Come on, you coming in or not? Right straight again. I like that punch. Ever since I started using it, I like it. 55, 725. So we got over 2,000 experience points now. We're going to rest. We're going to level up Snow. Add some more punches to his repertoire. All right. Boxer growth first. See what we can do. See if we can add. See, add a little bit in the jab. We'll try and get some more. This more hook to the body. Not gonna max that out yet. Get some a little more defense on there. And see a little more hurt, and I think that'll work. Let's see here. Let me see. How do I want to see? We'll do that. Is there anything else I want to do? Maybe try and... Let's see. That would give me enough for... One there, but I seriously, I seriously doubt I'm going to do that, so we'll do that right there. Apply the changes, and now let's go to the outfit. Because every fight's got to be a new way of looking at the outfit. Simplest thing, we could just swap the colors of the trunks. And I think that's what we'll do here. We'll swap the colors of the trunks. Yeah, let's see. 
change that base color to the blue waistband color to the blue then the stripe is going to be white and then we're going to fix the foul protector because for whatever reason it always goes back to the default and there we go now bouncing on to something new snowman with a brand new outfit ready for his next fight this will be fight number five I appreciate everybody watching. Next episode coming up very soon. I appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day and God bless you.